Opry Mills Mall is altogether familiar and yet totally new. After months of work, the mall is ready to open. It's the 2012 version of the center we originally built and opened in 2000. Many of the 3,000 employees here are hard at work, getting their merchandise displayed. And while we weren't allowed to see the whole mall, Opry Mills seems bright and clean. It has come a long way. Every square inch of the building was flooded by the Cumberland River in May 2010. In some places, the water was 10 feet deep. It's estimated the massive renovation cost about $200 million. In order to clean the project and make it safe for the consumers, we had to strip it down completely to the superstructure, which is basically you know, the concrete, uh, the steel, and the roof. Opry Mills has updated its look. That's it. Some of the carpet has been replaced with tile. There are new seating areas and architectural designs above. Many of the mall's 200 tenants are back in business. There are also several newcomers, including Coach Factory and Tommy Bahama Outlet. Opry Mills has worked hard to cluster stores of a certain type together. There's a children's section, and this is the fashion area. Shoppers are eagerly awaiting the grand reopening. Audra White will bring her family. And I get time to shop and look around, and they get time to go to the aquarium and do the things they like to do and give me a break. And everyone will bring their wallets. Come spend a lot of money. <laughs> That's right. This is what she's wanting to do. <laughs> the cash registers will soon be ringing. Opry Mills hopes to prove that some things are worth waiting for. John Dunn, Fox 17 News.